Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your autoresponder campaign. The autoresponder that I use is Aweber, and I highly recommend them. So if you're still shopping around for uh, for an autoresponder, uh, I highly recommend Aweber. Okay, so you can go to, to their website and just you know take their free test drive and uh, see how well this piece of software can work for you. Okay. But let me sign into my account and show you how to set up your uh, autoresponder campaign. Okay, so when you log in, this is uh, what you will see. Uh, if you're pretty new to this, you probably wouldn't have so many lists like I have so um, but let's not worry about that so you see this link here create and manage list you want to click on that and then you see this link on the right create a new list just click on that and you can get started uh, creating your very first uh, autoresponder campaign okay nowadays um, Aweber has this pretty cool feature at the bottom where it tells you how to set up your your autoresponder uh, campaign step by step. When I first, you know, when I first got Aweber, they they didn't have this at all. So this is this is a pretty useful feature. So you can just follow the steps and you can just set it up pretty easily. So I'll just do that right now. So the first thing you want to do is you name your list. Okay, instead of this funny thing they have. So let's let me give you an example. All right and uh, probably want to give a description as well um, all right something like that and uh, you can hit save we'll save that all right okay so the next step is you want to name your company so I'll just type in my company's name okay and my website address and you just hit save and your email address so this is the email address where um, you want you know to send your emails from okay so if you use your if you use Aweber to send it to send an email to your list this is the email address that your your list members will see okay so I'll just put this down and I'll just choose this you can choose notifications if you wanna you know whenever you wanna have an email sent to your email if uh, and whenever a new subscriber joins your list but if you're getting tons of uh, subscriptions every day, this will get a little bit um, get too much email. So usually I don't I don't check this anymore. Okay, so once you have entered this, just click save. Okay, so next thing you want to do, you can just click this thing here, do this step, and um, Aweber will. will now um, ask you to to set up your confirmation confirmation uh, message so usually I don't I don't need really need to change this they have pre written um, you know subject lines are all done so usually this is good enough for me but if you want to edit this you can you can as well and you know edit it to whatever you want and Okay, I'll just click save. All right. Well, I'll just change it a bit so it updates the information for you to see. Okay. Save. Email closing. All right. So just change this a little bit.
Alright, so that is done, and now we're going to do the next step. So, first thing you want to do is you want to create a welcome email. So, whenever someone opts into your list, this is the very first email that they will receive from you. So, usually I just go with first name, and I would say, Welcome to. You know, for example. Okay. And you just can just type a simple welcome message. All right. Or whatever you need to tell your, um, your subscriber. So you just type a simple email message like that. Okay, you probably want to type more, but <laughs> this is just uh, as as an example. Okay, and it's up to you if you want to track clicks on your website links. Okay, just, just hit save. And that's it. That be done. So next thing you want to do is you want to create a web form. So this is how you create an opt-in form. So this is how you do it. Well, just name it something, whatever you want to name it. Okay, choose the type of uh, opt-in that you want to use. Okay, the thank you page. This is where you want to send people immediately after they uh, they opt in with their name and email. So it's up to you where you want to direct them to. Okay, and just click next. All right, so. Usually I just go with name and email address, okay, so I just want to make this required. Probably you want the first name, okay. Email, probably you want to change this as well to, you know, yes. Send me my free download, something else like this, okay. Okay, and uh, that's more or less it. Okay, and just hit save. And that's it. So that's how you set up your autoresponder campaign. As you can see, there's one more step left, which is you want to, you know, paste your, your form onto your website. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to just set up your autoresponder campaign. Just follow the steps that you were uh, tells you to and um, you can set it up pretty fast as you can see over here hope you like the video